Here we have a geometry problem. There is a figure going over here. Okay, let's go with the information. In the figure above, if AB equals to 6, uh, DE equals to 3, and uh, BD equals to 12, what is the length of AE? So they're asking us to find the length of the uh, line segment AE. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend uh, this side AB. Uh, let me extend this. And also I extend uh, this one to uh, up to E. And I name this is a vertex F. And uh, since this is a vertical line, we have a right angle over here. Okay, now I have a right triangle AFE. Okay, so already we know that the length of this uh, line segment BD is uh, 12. It's given in the question itself. And this FE is parallel to BD. So the length of FE also must be 12 because already we know that BD is 12. And uh, this BF is parallel to DE. Already we know the length of D, which is 3. Then the length of uh, BF over here must be 3. Then what is the length of AF? 6 positive 3, which is uh, 9. Okay, now also on the, let's consider the right triangle AFE. In this uh, right triangle AFE, AE represents the side, AE represents uh, hypotenuse because this is opposite to the right angle. And the remaining two sides, AF and FE, are the two legs. Okay, I know the length of uh, the remaining two legs, AF, that is 9, and uh, FE, that is 12. I can use Pythagorean theorem uh, to get the length of the side AE, which is hypotenuse in the right triangle AFE. Okay, so actually according to Pythagorean theorem, uh, the square of the hypotenuse, that is AE square equals to sum of the squares of other two sides, that is uh, AF square positive uh, FE square. Okay, so I do not know the length of AE, that is what I have to find, so I can keep AE square as it is. And for AF, uh, I know the length is 9 units, I can plug in 9 for AF, that is 9 square. And for FE, I know the length is 12, so I can plug in 12 for FE, then I am getting 12 square. So then AE square equals to the value of 9 square is uh, 81. The value of 12 square is 144. Okay, so AE square equals to when I add uh, 81 and 124, I'm getting 225. Okay, my aim is to get the length of AE, but here we have AE square. To get the square over here, I have to take square root on both sides. When it takes square root on both sides, the square root and square will cancel out. And when it takes square root for this number 225, usually consider positive or negative sign over here. But AE represents uh, the length of one of the sides of the triangle. It can now be a negative value. So in this positive or negative sign, we can consider only positive sign. So for positive sign means we don't have to mention anything. So we have uh, AE on the left side and square root of uh, 225 is uh, uh, 15. So now I got the length of AE. The length of AE is uh, 15. Uh, so for this question, the correct answer choice is option D.